To get started on this poker table, we began by cutting down all the two by sixes that we were gonna use for the railing. Now each end of those gets cut at a 22 and a half degree angle. And then I came back and cut a small channel on the front lower edge of the two by six. And that was going to allow me to recess some LED lighting into it. After I got that done, then I could move on to cutting a slight five degree taper about halfway through the two by sixes. I went ahead and assembled those to form up my octagon, except for that last one. And I did so by drilling pocket holes in one end of each of the two by six rails, and then coming back and attaching them with instant wood adhesive and two and a half inch pocket hole screws. After getting all of them attached except for the last one, then I can mark it and cut it exactly to fit so that I would know everything came together nicely. The base was constructed out of two by six, which I cut on a slight angle so they would kind of be tapered in at the top. Then I cut some two by fours down to assemble the lower stretcher between each of the legs and they connected in the middle. Now I assembled all of this by drilling pocket holes and screwing them together with some wood glue and two and a half inch pocket hole screws. With the base assembled, then we could start the finishing process, which I began by plugging all of those pocket holes and then we sanded those smooth and filled out any imperfections with some wood filler, sanding it to a nice smooth finish. For the top of the base, I kind of tied those two by sixes together with just a scrap piece of plywood. I cut down a square and I thought that was gonna be enough. However, the table did turn out to be a little rocky. So in the plans on my website, I'll make sure to adjust for that and put some two by fours in there to stiffen it up. Those plans will be linked down below in the description. With the base and the rails done, then I can move on to the finishing process, which for this project, I wanted to make it as simple as possible. So we went with an outdoor deck stain. And the reason being is because it's a tintable deck stain that you can get tinted to whatever color you want and it has the waterproofing built into it. So it makes for a nice, easy one-step process. To get that casino-like feel and make it easier to pick up the cards, you need to add a little sponginess to the tabletop itself. To get that, we adhered with spray adhesive, we adhered two layers of eighth inch thick neoprene. And then we adhered the speed cloth over top of that. Okay, so we got the rails together and I've gone ahead and flipped those over. Um, don't judge the staining on the bottom side of the rails. However, we are adhering an LED strip. Now I went with a newer, or I haven't seen it before. It's called a, a neon LED light strip. So it gives you a continuous light strip versus the small LED hotspots that you see with normal LED strips. So what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm going to be adhering that LED strip into that channel that I cut on all the rails. And I'll be doing so using Weldwood's instant adhesive. And um, I'll just be laying that around and I cut those channels deep enough so that the LED strip would actually sit back a little bit. And that was gonna give me a little bit more of a turning radius around each one of these corners.
and then we were ready to mount the handrail to the playing surface itself, which we did so with two inch wood screws. Once the top was completed, then we could move on to installing that on the base. With the table assembled, I needed to come up with a solution to power it. Now, we could obviously just run an extension cord to the table. However, I wanted to limit or get rid of that cord running to the table while we're playing. Luckily, I had Ryobi's 40 volt power source in the back room, so we were able to pull that out. I took a hook and installed it into the bottom of the table, and then I drilled a hole in the top of the hanger for that 40 volt power source and hung it from that hook. So with winter approaching, me and the boys are going to be playing a lot more poker. And this is a big step up from the old fold-up poker table that we were using in the past. Now, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, do so right there so you won't miss out on any future projects. And if you want the full plans for this one, make sure you click on that link right there. That's going to take you on over to the website. Until next time, be safe and happy building.